I'm Michael and I play piano in the band Paradise Fears. I started playing piano when I was six years old and the reason that I started playing was my parents knew how to, uh, how to motivate me very well and they gave me video games for playing. And so every single month I would get a new video game and that was the coolest thing for me. And my, my dad would always tell me that I needed to make sure to keep playing because when I was older all the ladies would be really into me for it. And I was like six years old so I didn't really think about that at the time. But uh, now that's a major contributor for the reasons that, uh, that I play piano. I want to go downtown and check out the chicks. Like who? Just looking. Any particular type of chicks? Just cute ones. <laughs> Which ones are the cute ones? The black hair, the blonde hair, the brown hair? Black, I mean, the blonde hair and the brown hair. How old do they have to be? I'm not sure. Younger than me? Younger than your mom? I'm not sure. They just have to be cute. <laughs> that. <laughs> My parents used to sing uh, The Cats in the Cradle to me while I was a little baby to calm me down because I used to cry and have a lot of tantrums, but anytime they sang that song I would instantly go into calm, nice, lovable little baby mode. Music as a, as a more interactive uh, form of art for me began when I was about six years old when I started playing piano. Um, and you know, at the beginning, I, I was more of a, I enjoyed listening to music more rather than performing it, I'd say, um, until probably so I was in high school, I'd say, and that's when I started actually performing for my peers and in the high school and, you know, being able to feel like I was contributing to someone or maybe back then it was just cool to have the attention of other high school people that, uh, that I didn't usually talk to. Chicks. Noticing me and congratulating me for uh, for something that I could do was a pretty cool feeling. Um, so I think it was in high school is when I really started to enjoy performing for other people. When I was in middle school, I moved to Australia for a year, and it was really cool. I learned a lot of things, uh, mostly that uh, most Australians really didn't like the crocodile hunter because every American that they ever saw that came over would start off by saying, Crocky! Let's put another shrimp on the bar, babe! And most uh, Australians aren't all about that. Um, and I also got a chance to experience what it's like to wear a school uniform and I was extremely excited about it. I think my favorite thing about being in Paradise Fears is being able to travel and meet new people on a constant basis. Um, I think that every time that you surround yourself with new people who do things differently, it always expands your horizons and gives you a new perspective in life. Uh, so that would probably be my favorite thing about being in Paradise Fears. If I wasn't in Paradise Fears, you know, I, I think I would probably be a dentist right now. Uh, originally that was my plan, and it wasn't because I enjoyed teeth or anything like that. Uh, it was mostly because I had researched it and it looked like it paid really well and it had good hours. Um, so yeah, I'd be a dentist. <laughs> I'm a big fan of puns. Uh, I'm kind of a nerd like that. You know, I actually heard a story about uh, a friend of mine had a friend who got 10 puns and told them to all of his friends in an attempt to make them laugh, um, but no pun in 10 did. So. <laughs> My relationship with our fans, and I think this stands for the whole band when I say this, um, is definitely very special to us. It's kind of like we're all family, um, and I, I feel like relatively compared to most bands, uh, our relationships are maybe more personal uh, due to the amount of private parties that we've played and promoting to the kids in lines, and we really got a chance to 
meet kids close up, face to face, and you know, learn their names and and actually get to interact with them on a person level. And I think that's one of the reasons that we have such a special relationship with our fans. Yo, yo, what's up? It's me and Nicole up in the house. What do you do? The true mafia for life. For life. What up? Yeah. You know, honestly, I, I think that the reason that we're successful as a band is because of our ability to come together and, you know, create something that we truly wouldn't have been able to on our own. You know, I, Sam's a great singer, Cole's a great guitarist. I like to think that I'm an alright pianist. Um, but at the end of the day, it really is just our ability to get along and the chemistry that we have that drives each of us beyond our own individual capabilities and makes us stronger for it.